In this lesson, we're going to continue our study of nouns. And we're looking at types of nouns that are called concrete or abstract. Let's take a closer look. We're going to start with concrete. When you think of concrete, what comes to mind? I think of something that's solid, hard, that I could touch and see. What about you? Concrete nouns are things that you can actually touch and see. For example, I could say to you, would you mind passing me a pencil, please? And you'd be able to pick up a pencil and hand it to me. You could actually touch it. That's a great example of a concrete noun. Oh, what a great photo. It looks like somebody might be going for a picnic or something. Let's take a look and figure out what nouns we see. Looks like there's quite a few. Here's some of the concrete nouns I saw in this photo. Truck, dog, basket, tree, guitar. There were some others. Did you see all of those or did you see some more? Here's another image. Wow, it's full of concrete nouns. Take a minute and see if you can spot at least four or five different concrete nouns. What did you come up with? Here's some things that I found in the photo. Pencil, ruler, scissors, paper clip, paint, calculator. These are all examples of concrete nouns. So, what's an abstract noun? Hmm, let's think about that. Concrete nouns are ones that we can usually touch or hear and see. Abstract nouns, not so much. They're a little bit different. What about an idea? It's real. It's a noun, but can you see it? No. Even though it exists, it isn't something we can really see. This is a good example of an abstract noun. What about a question? A thought? An idea? Could you pass me an idea, please? <laughs> no, you couldn't pass me an idea, but you can certainly have an idea. You can have a question. They are things. They are abstract nouns. Take a look at this picture. What does it make you think of? Is there a certain symbol that you see there? Right. That's a symbol for peace. Just like this one. Well, is peace a thing? Sure it is. Could you pass me peace? <laughs> no. I can feel peace in my heart. I can see peace when people are getting along. But peace is more abstract. Peace is an abstract noun. It's a state of being. It's a feeling. It's a thought. Abstract. What about love? Could you pick up love and pass it to somebody? No, you might be able to show somebody love by giving them a hug or caring for them, but you can't physically pick up love and pass it to somebody. It's abstract. It's an abstract noun, just like all sorts of other feelings. We can see love. We can read it on people's faces, just like joy or happiness or contentment. These are all great examples of abstract nouns. What do you see when you look at this photo? What sort of feelings? 
What sort of feelings do you see here? Love, happiness, contentment. All of those are abstract nouns. You know, since humans have been around on this earth, many people have believed in something greater than themselves. Throughout history, we have believed in a number of different sort of spirits or the unknown. Some of you may go to church and pray to a God. Like I said, throughout history, this is something that people have done. They believe in a God, a being, a spirit. They have faith. These are all nouns. But we can't necessarily pick them up or pass them to somebody. They're just what we feel or what we believe in. Okay, let's do a quick review. We've been talking about abstract and concrete nouns. What type of noun can you touch? Did you say concrete? You're right. Is love a concrete noun or an abstract noun? What do you think? Love is an abstract noun. What type of noun is the word dog? Did you say concrete? You're right. Dog is a concrete noun. That's it for this activity on concrete and abstract nouns.